Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday of the second week of Lent. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. You know how it is. You always want to make sure that your friends and relatives are taken care of. Well, there's no difference in today's gospel. You want what's best for your kids. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on the things we're willing to do for the benefit of those we love. For the times we were wrong about God, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schools always in good works, so that comfort them with your protection here, so as to lead them graciously to the gifts on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priest, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save, Save me, me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save, Save me, me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save, Save me, me, O Lord, Lord in your kindness. kindness. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory. to you, Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the 12 disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She so answered, command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice I'm going to drink? They said to him, we can. He replied, my chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it had been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, so many times you hear amazing stories in hospitals of families sitting with loved ones and standing there watching their loved one leave this life and go to God. And there's really many, many, many um, heart-wrenching but really beautiful stories you can learn in a hospital. I read a story some time ago about a woman named Jessica. Jessica had a seizure and she lost her memory didn't recognize her parents, didn't recognize her boyfriend, Rich. And she began a very long journey of trying to relearn who her parents were. And they, of course, as parents do, they stuck with her. They went through all kinds of things with her. But Rich was another story. She basically told him to get lost, 
but they were dating seven months. He had no desire to get lost. So he took her to familiar places they had been on dates. He took her for walks in the park. He was very, very patient with her. And after time, she identified with her parents. But here's what she said about Rich. I don't remember the first time I fell in love with him, but I do remember the second. He was so patient with me, so sweet, I couldn't help but fall for him. You know, love's going to demand things of us we're not prepared to give, things we think that we just don't have it anymore. But, you know, the cup we drink of always has to be one of selflessness and for the sake of others. You know, parents do that all the time. I think as you get older and you watch parents taking care of their kids, like even just getting them to come to church on Sundays, you look at the kids and some of them have two, three, four, five kids, and you wonder how in God's name did they get them here? But you know, parents don't count the cost, yet I'm sure they're exhausted at times. I'm sure they pull their hair out at times, but yet they keep on giving and loving and keep giving and loving. So that's why I always say the greatest vocation in the world is to be a parent. And I think for all of us, that's something we should always remember. Thank God for your parents, as well as thank God for the parents raising children these days. God bless. For parents, that they may continue to love their children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For grandparents who are a great example to children, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For teachers, especially those who work with the very young, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer. We ask you to bless us on this journey through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for, for our, our good, good and the good, good of God's, God's holy church. church. Look with favor, Lord, on these gifts we offer you by this holy exchange of gifts. Undo the bonds of our sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. Father, you will that self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And help us to imitate you and your kindness. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts. hosts heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and and drink this cup, cup, we we proclaim your death, O Lord, until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Helen Butera, Bob Christian and Joan Hudak, and John D. Sanera, Jr., whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that what you have given us as a pledge of immortality may work for our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.